Welcome to FarmGrow. In this presentation, we will see weighing balance qualification requirements as per USP chapter number 1251. In this presentation, we will cover installation qualification, operational qualification and performance qualification requirements. Watch the video till the end to know about all the requirements for weighing balance qualification as per USP chapter number 1251. Qualification guidance given in this video is applicable for weighing balances used for solid materials, liquid materials, volatile samples and aseptic or biohazardous samples also. Weighing is a frequent step in analytical procedures and the balance is an essential piece of laboratory equipment. The general information described here is applicable to all the electronic balances used for the analytical procedures. First we will see the installation qualification requirements for the weighing balances. The weighing balance performance depends on the conditions of the facility where it is being installed and analysts should consult information by the manufacturer or the equipment supplier before installation of the weighing balances. First we will see the support surface requirements for installation of new weighing balances. The balances should be installed on a solid level non-magnetic surfaces that minimizes the transmission of vibrations. Example. A floor mounted granite weigh bench can be used for installation of new weighing balances. If the metallic support surface is used, the surfaces should be grounded in order to prevent the buildup of static electricity. For the location point of view, if possible, the balance should be located in a room that is temperature or humidity controlled. The location should have a clean, consistent electric power supply. Now we will see few facility issues that may have an impact on installation qualification of weighing balances. First, air currents sometimes are present in the laboratory or the weighing room. In this case, closed cabinets for the weighing balances shall be used that can avoid the direct impact of air currents on the weighing. Second, temperature factor. Temperatures in the installation room if varying excessively, then the literature provided by the equipment manufacturer or the supplier shall be referred and temperature in the weighing room shall be controlled as per the manufacturer's recommendations. Next factor is humidity. Humidity is either very low or very high. Either conditions may increase the rate at which the sample weigh varies because of pickup or loss of water. In this case also humidity in the room shall be controlled as per the manufacturer's recommendations. Fourth factor adjacent operations are causing vibrations. If adjacent operations are causing effect on the weighing balance readings, the weighing balance installation shall be done far away from the vibration causing factors. Fifth factor is corrosive materials that are used nearby or are routinely weighed. Sixth factor is the balance is adjacent to the equipment that produces a magnetic field, example magnetic stirrer. Installation of weighing balances shall be done away from the equipment that produces a magnetic field. Seventh factor is direct sunlight. If the direct sunlight strikes to the weighing balance that may have an impact on weighing balance readings. So weighing balance shall be installed away from the direct sunlight. Now we will see the requirements for the operational qualification. Depending on the balance analyst should include the following procedures in the operational qualification test first mechanical mobility of all movable parts second control of stable indication third manually triggered or automatic adjustment by means of built-in weights fourth operation of ancillary equipments like printers fifth tear function sixth initial calibration now we will move to the final and very important part of qualification that is performance qualification. Performance qualification of weighing balances is done with the externally calibrated standard weights. A balance check using an external weight helps to ensure that the balance meets the weighing tolerance requirements. The balance check is performed at appropriate time intervals based on the applicable standard operating procedures. Performance qualification test which is done with more than one readings for that performance qualification test acceptance criteria is considered as not more than 0.05% deviation from the standard readings. In this performance qualification, we will be covering basic 5 qualification tests. 
first qualification test accuracy test the accuracy of balance is satisfactory if its weighing value when tested with standard or suitable weight is within 0.10% of the test weight value second performance qualification test is sensitivity test change in weighing value divided by the change in load usually measured between 0 and the full capacity of the weighing balances third qualification test is linearity test this test is to check the ability of weighing balance to follow a linear relationship between a load and the indicated weighing value in this test the standard weights with a incremental or decremental order placed on a weighing platform and its standard deviation is calculated fourth qualification test is eccentricity test eccentricity test is done to check whether the balance is showing the accurate results if the standard weight is placed at a different location on the platform weighing platforms are come in a different shapes as per the change in manufacturer like square shape rectangular shape or circular shape in this test a single standard weight is placed at a different location and its readings standard deviation is measured deviation in the measurement value caused by the eccentric loading in other words the asymmetric placement of the center of gravity is checked fifth qualification test is repeatability test this test is done with a single standard weight by placing a repeatedly at a predefined or a single position ability of weighing instrument to display identical measurement values for repeated readings of the same object under the same conditions that is the same measurement procedure same operator same measuring system same operating conditions and the same location over a short period of time here we have covered qualification requirements for the weighing balances as per usp chapter number 1251 thank you for watching this video please subscribe to channel to watch more videos related to pharmaceutical industry thank you for watching